What's up guys, it's Joshua J. This is my poker opener. This is the trick that if you see me performing out and about, walk up to a table, it's likely I'm gonna open with this trick. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, how do they do these things? So I can't tell you exactly how I do them, but I'm gonna give you an advantage that they don't normally give you. I'm gonna tell you what I'm doing as I do it. So I'll tell you what, we'll do a classic trick, finding four aces. It's got a lot going for it. It's what I call a fireworks magic trick. There's so much magic happening along the way. It's not just one effect, it's about eight or nine changes, things like that. Go for four aces. This is the first ace, the ace of spades. Did I say ace of I meant to say eight, eight. We're gonna go for four aces. We'll talk about the first lesson. This is card control. Taking that eight of hearts, putting it somewhere in the deck, and then controlling it back to the top. That's card control. This is a switch, and it happens on the table as you go to look at your hand. You simply switch that queen for that nine you need. I'll show you that again. You simply switch the, actually we don't have time. Moreover, it produces four aces at the end, which isn't just surprising, but it's also useful for your second routine if you're gonna use four aces um, in your work. Now, once you've mastered card control, card transposition, card mucking, you're on to the last bit, and that's what we call real magic. Switching cards visually, and once you've mastered that, then and only then can you find the one, two, three, four aces. So it's not that heavy on sleight of hand. I encourage you to check it out. And um, this is my poker opener right from my repertoire to your computer screen. This is the end. Y'all ain't got to go home, but you got to get the flippin' and flop about this mug.